Fede Alvarez isn't just a horror director, he's a maestro of tension, a virtuoso of visceral thrills. His films grab you by the throat and don't let go, plunging you into a world of relentless suspense and primal fear. He's not afraid to get his hands dirty, to revel in the grotesque and the macabre. His films are a gut punch to the senses, a reminder that true horror lies not in jump scares, but in the dark corners of the human psyche. Alien didn't just redefine sci-fi horror, it unleashed a primal fear that burrows deep. The Nostromo's claustrophobic corridors became our nightmares. The Xenomorph, a visceral symbol of our deepest anxieties. Ridley Scott crafted an experience that haunts us still. Jaws not only invented the summer blockbuster, it redefined our relationship with the ocean. It's a symphony of suspense. The still makes us jump, a testament to the power of cinema to tap into our collective unconscious. The Shining is a descent into the madness lurking beneath the surface of the American dream. Kubrick transforms the Overlook Hotel into a psychological labyrinth where Jack Torrance's sanity unravels in a concerto of dread and isolation. It's a chilling reminder that even the most idyllic settings can hide unspeakable horrors. The Thing is a masterpiece of paranoia and dread, a chilling exploration of fear of the unknown. Carpenter transforms the Antarctic into a claustrophobic nightmare where trust dissolves and suspicion reigns. The Thing burrows deep into your psyche, leaving you questioning who or what you can trust. Evil Dead 2 is a splatterpunk roller coaster of demented glee. It's a blood soaked love letter to B movies, a delirious celebration of excess that'll leave you laughing and screaming in equal measure. The Exorcist doesn't just scare you, it shakes your core. It taps into our deepest fears, challenges our beliefs, and leaves us questioning the boundaries between good and evil. It wasn't just special effects, it was the raw emotion, the psychological torment that made it unforgettable. But with Psycho, Hitchcock shatter our cinematic innocence. It's a film that weaponizes the mundane, turning a motel into a macabre stage, a mother's love into a twisted obsession. The shower scene? An opera of terror, forever etched in our collective memory. Psycho proved that the true monsters lurk not in the shadows, but within ourselves. Seven is a dark journey into the blackest recesses of the human soul. Venture's vision is both mesmerizing and repulsive. The film's climax will leave you reeling and questioning the very nature of evil. It's a masterpiece of nihilistic despair, a film that dares to stare into the abyss and refuses to blink. A Clockwork Orange is a free jazz concert of contradictions. It's beautiful and brutal, funny and horrifying, a social satire wrapped in a dystopian nightmare. The film forces us to question whether free will, even in its most violent forms, is preferable to a society that enforces conformity through brutal conditioning. It's a philosophical challenge disguised as a gleeful, disturbing joyride. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre is an assault on the senses. Hooper's style captures the essence of pure terror, stripping away any comforting illusions. The film's grainy documentary aesthetic blurs the line between fiction and reality, making the horror all too real. The film is a brutal, uncompromising experience that will leave you breathless. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, have a great day.